in February of 1904 by the American Locomotive Company in a little town south of Washington, D.C. called Richmond, Virginia. It was built for the Southern Railway and used on many parts of their system for many years. Most notably, it lived on the Murphy Branch out of Asheville, North Carolina, on trackage that is today operated by the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad. 6.30 operated for the Southern Railway until June 6, 1952, at which time it was traded, to the, or sold rather, to the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad, where it became engine number 207. Operated between Johnson City and Elizabethton, Tennessee, until the late 1960s, at which time the Southern Railway actually reacquired it for their expanding steam excursion program. They traded a couple of diesel locomotives for the 630 and its identical twin, the 722. 630 ran an excursion service until 1989 when it was taken out of service in need of a major overhaul that began in 1999 when Norfolk Southern donated the locomotive to us here at Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. We began restoring the engine in 1999, finished it in 2011 at a cost of approximately three quarters of a million dollars. As we begin turning here, I want you to make sure you look up in the cab. You'll see our engineer, Ricky, and her husband, Andrew, one of the few engineer, fireman, husband and wife teams that you will find anywhere in the country. Also up there in the cab, you'll see our student, fireman, Zach. Make sure you wave at Ricky and Andrew and Zach and thank them for that nice ride they gave us over here today. Otherwise, they might just conveniently forget to reattach their locomotive to the other end of the train and take us home. Now the 630 here is what we call a 280 consolidation type steam locomotive. Two pilot wheels, eight 56 inch diameter driving wheels, and no trailer wheels into the cabin firebox. Her coal tender holds 17 tons of coal and 10,000 gallons of water. Over the course of today, we will run back and forth enough to run up about 30 miles. The engine will consume about five tons of coal and about 6,000 gallons of water. The way a steam locomotive operates, this big round part right here where the headlight and smokestack is, that's called the boiler. It's full of water, it's got fire to it, it carries all the smoke and hot gas into the firebox where that coal is burning, heats that water, brings it into a boil, creates steam pressure at 190 pounds per square inch of steam, pressure I should say. That's the when the engineer pulls the throttle, that steam is then sent down here to these big cylinders here. Big pistons then drive the driving rods and turn the wheels. If you'd like to know more uh, in depth about the basics of how a steam locomotive operates, you can stop me later. I'll be more than happy to tell you more about the complexities of steam locomotive operation. Once we finish our demonstration here, if you would like to follow me, we'll go visit our repair and restoration shop. You're also welcome to go and get back on the train, or you can go visit Emily in our East Chattanooga Depot, where again we have a limited.